Yo, you know me, the host of Skunk TV, the Soil King. I'm here with a great friend of mine. Actually, a brother in arms right here. Absolutely, Alan. I love this guy. You guys know what you guys know what kind of relationship we got. We're a fucking stuck family for life, man. That's the way it is. I'm loving it. And uh, here with Skunk TV today at the 2016 Emerald Cup. I mean, what better place could it be over here? Green Renaissance Organic Northern California movement. I've seen people from Maine, from Ohio, from Iowa, from Alaska. I got family. I got a, I got a store up in Alaska, a guy by the name of Jimmy Hensworth. He's uh, got a store with big roofs in it from Alaska. They flew down here. Some of the biggest growers up in Alaska are down here. Uh, just happened to be coming and experiencing. I'm sure you probably talked to them. They came down here. And uh, it's just an awesome. This is an awesome time. I got, I mean, we could, we always, everybody sees us talking about our products. And let's have fun with this one. Let's talk about your hat. My hat? Yeah, I mean, come on. Your hat's legendary, man. How long have you had your hat? Since 2000. How many people out there had a hat since 2000? It's been, it's like, it's like a third wife, huh? Second wife to you. You know, it's just a tool for the garden, really. I can't believe people don't complain about it being dirty. <laughs> it's a dirty egg, dirty. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I thought, you know, as I met people down the road, I'd just start collecting signatures, you know? Like, if they understood and they felt what I was talking about, you know, with organic agriculture and how it would have to make a comeback if we wanted nutrient-dense herb, you know, then I... Or they were just impressed by whatever I had smoked them out with at that level, you know. Uh, and I thought, why not hang out with the top of the food chain? Exactly. You know, I took the same things I learned in business, you know, and brought it to, you know, the pot business. I wanted to pre-position myself. I wanted to learn from masters. And so, you know, if this was the automobile industry, we would have moved to Detroit. But this is the pod industry. And so we're I moving left, to Northern California. Yeah, left Sac Town, came up to Mendo, and yep. ended up jumping over the hill, you know, to, to Lake County every other day, hanging out at the Healing Fields and uh, learning to make, uh, well, learning to keep my mouth shut, but learning to uh, <laughs> to make uh, this bokashi that we make today. You know. you know, when I was a kid and I was made, covering the silage pits and, and learning about making the cattle feed more bioavailable, I... I wanted away from that so bad, but for that to be the technology that I based this that's, other that's business awesome. off of, it was like, wow, you know. Uh, Full circle right there, huh? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I wanted more than to get out of the hot sun in the middle of the summer at every dairy on the damn west coast covering their, their feed, you know. But we learned a lot, you know, and the same thing that fed the cow better feeds our soil better. Exactly. You guys see how we started with a hat? Nobody even knew anything about that hat. This guy is full of so many stories. It's it's in freaking incredible. I mean, not to mention he's just a he's a yep. one off. I call him the one off, right? He's just such an individual character. Did you ever see a movie called Fear of a Black Hat? I never seen it. Okay, well, it was this band, and and they, their theory was that all the people through history that you knew who it was from the outline, they all had a hat. So Eddie Lepp and I were talking about it one day, and we went and got some hats. And, and this is the hat I got. We customized it a bit, but yeah, you got to have a hat. Man. So speaking of Eddie, man, that was pretty. That was something special, wasn't that? I don't know how we'll ever duplicate that. that it's was not a weird duplicated. Thing, you know, like the whole vibe of the whole day was just. I don't. I read, can I use that one? Yeah, you can use whatever word you want, man. This is. It was. I get goosebumps again right now just thinking of it. It was. I say outside of the, my four children, that was the fifth best thing that ever happened in my life, just the experience. For Alan to be there present through the whole thing and take me along into his family, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's, I can't, it's breathtaking. This is a great event. This is an awesome experience. It's not nothing compared to the other day. I mean, it really is. A, it was make. It was epic. Did you expect to have that level of dialogue with a guy who just walked out of prison for that duration of time? Had no idea. He'll One get sharper watch. Exactly. And just to, <laughs> just to see the transparency that I talk about in my life with a predecessor like him that has had transparency in his life back then at such a massive scale sets me free in my soul. Right, it really does. For that guy to be at that time to do the things that he did, 
for the right reasons in the right way for me just being this little peon being transparency in my life trying to do that just shows me that man there's examples of people out there that i want to live like that i want to be like and eddie you're one of them man you are one of them i gotta agree 100 percent yep so, I was blessed to be able to hang out with Jack Hare and Eddie Lowe. Amazing. Yeah. Those are the just, first two names I got on the hat. On that hat? Yeah. I told you, see, we full circle, here we go. We started with a hat. He's like, what do you mean you talk about my hat? Well, this guy, yeah, I could talk about his, his belt buckle. He'd tell me all kinds of good stuff about that, I'm sure. But damn, <laughs> one-off individual. You guys know Alan. He's a one-off, man. He's a character. If you ever get a chance to know him, you ever get a chance to meet him? Give a guy a hug, man. This is a true warrior right here. One of the one of the cleanest soul individual I ever met in my life. Thank you. That means a lot. 